Hi, welcome to the Alabama Perk Podcast. I'm your host, Sherry Wilson. Today I have two extra special hosts who are joining me. Jenny. I'm Jenny Brasington. I'm the director for the Arizona Perk. And Heather. And I'm Heather Kilgore, the director for Minnesota Perk. Fantastic. So let's talk about what's going on in Minnesota. Okay, the Minnesota Perk is more than just the Minnesota Perk because... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about you. All right, so the Minnesota Perk is a particular project at Pacer Center in Minnesota. And Pacer Center is a about 30-year-old statewide organization that's working to uh, help parents to access the best education for their children, to increase possibilities for children and families. Now, we started 30 years ago as, a, as an organization that was primarily focused on families of children with disabilities, and have since expanded as our understanding as educators of disabilities have expanded. And so we don't work exclusively with families of children with disabilities, but work on inclusion and on families that have all sorts of needs, special health care needs, uh, special needs that just come from life. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a specific philosophy of parents helping parents, that our expertise as parents who have been there, who have gone through issues, either having children with disabilities or facing other challenges, is an important part of helping other parents to face those same challenges. What a great, great model. What a great philosophy yeah. and empowering. I mean, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and we're very explicit about the expertise of our staff members comes not only from things like college degrees and things like professional trainings that we go to, uh, but also comes from our own learning in our families. So what I think is most interesting about this talk today <laughs> is that um, we all do the same work. We're yep. all mm -hmm. perk directors and yep. working in our perks in our states, um, but our organizations that we come from Absolutely. Are extremely different. Very different. Because your organization is yeah, is really small, very yeah. small, and it's a nonprofit that works specifically with this one district, and yet our work is statewide. And sure. so it's it's really different from like compared to your center, yeah. which is huge and probably and well and well yeah. known. I think mm -hmm. both within your state yeah. and nationally, yeah. whereas ours really wasn't. I think our perk is more known than our. Than our nonprofit, sure. yeah. So, right. and, and our our agency started out with fifty dollars in the bank five years ago and wrote our first grant and grew from having you know no office, no staff, nothing to sure. having a statewide agency that's still small. We're still growing, mm -hmm. but right. um, but yeah, we are on a completely different scale from the two of you, <laughs> but particularly you, <laughs> but doing probably similar, similar work, right. absolutely. Well, and each comes with its different things. You know, as I we always talk about our approach so mm -hmm. clearly because there's this notion that you, if you're in a big organization or if you're in kind of an established organization, mm -hmm. that you lose some of that grassroots, mm -hmm. some of that um, small organization feel. And I think we not only intentionally try to communicate about that, but I think we also intentionally incorporate it into our organizational culture mm -hmm. that. Uh, when we develop materials, for example, that we're having parents read them. We try not to help people, but rather to lift people up, That's provide great. information, and mm -hmm. help them help themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. You won't. You don't want to be seen as the establishment or this. Yeah. <laughs> no. Or you're not doing things come. well, so right. we're going to help you. Right. Exactly. Yeah. No. Like we're from and the we government. Don't all we're going to help exactly. the answers. Yeah. No. No. And we don't help. Not we'll tell you what to do, and then yeah. you'll be better people because right. of it. Yeah. 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 No. What a way for parents. In a perfect go. world. No. <laughs> no, not at all. But you know, we take that same approach because, as we know, our perk work isn't just with parents. We work with educators as right. well. And so we take that same approach. Like on my team uh, for the perk, we have certainly that parent perspective, mm -hmm. and that's a great deal of our work is this kind of advocate mm -hmm. work. Uh, but we also have this professional perspective, and we have staff members who have been teachers too. And so teachers who have been there and can talk about, yeah, I've had that parent mm -hmm. yell at me in parent-teacher conferences, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and can tell their own stories, uh, it definitely helps teachers too. Right. And then when we can bring them both together, uh, we can kind of facilitate conversations that are less about, we know all the solutions, and more about, you know, when we were working with this other school, this worked, or in my experience, yeah. mm -hmm. this worked. Here's some strategies that, that we use. Okay, yeah. we don't have very much time left, yeah. um, but why don't you tell us one project we've all worked on together yeah. is uh, the National Coalition of Parent Centers. Yeah. And we have a new data book coming out? Absolutely, here pretty soon. 
we're going to have a data book that's going to tell the perk story nationally, and it's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to see it. So if you want it. more yeah. information about the Alabama perk, and you'll be able to access copies of the perk book on all of our sites, but Absolutely. on my site you can find it at www.alabamaparentcenter.com. And on my site, for information and to find the book, you can find it at www.azperk.com. And I can be found at pacer.org slash mpc. Pacer is p-a-c-e-r dot org slash mpc. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. It's great. Yeah.